Hey, what is up? Hello, I go by Ren. Today I am filming the second installment of the Depop on the Road to Top Seller program video, and I decided to orient it around a trip to the thrift slash estate sale. This is actually my first time going to an estate sale, and I'm super excited. Um, I've seen all the videos, all the Paul Cantu videos, all the Blazed and Glazed videos about going to estate sales, and I've never gone. I'm hype, if you ain't know. So I'm hoping that they got some good stuff. Also, I have been in the process of filming a come apartment shopping video with me. So I've literally been filming this video for months and I wanted to thrift everything from my apartment. However, it didn't work out. And this is literally the first time I'm able to go thrifting for home decor. So we're gonna see if I can find anything in there. Hopefully I can. I want a giant Ikea mirror and a bar stool, which might sound weird, but those are the things that we're looking for and also a gang of inventory for my Depop shop, which is going up. So let me shut up and let's just go thrifting. I like this. Look at here, grab my head, one of these. This is cool, but it's dirty, so I don't want to get that. Ooh, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. There's some more. Is that fake or is it real? Is this vintage? Look at the symbol. Look, you see the symbols? It's not what the symbol looks like. It's actually authentic. Or is it vintage? Louis Vuitton. This came from the store. Are you sure it's real? Yeah, I can tell from the This is authentic. This was a $400 bag. And look, she took good care of it. It, the the it, sign the yeah. the logo used to look like that the yeah, monogram it, it like this. so i'm back from the estate sale and i want to show y'all what i got basically so we got this super dope patchwork two-piece set vintage patchwork two-piece set i think i should show you guys these separately so this is the top i love the colors like and it's a little wrinkly because I, I washed it but i love the colors like look at all this detail how cool is that like this was i would not be surprised if this was handmade so it's like this dark blue really cool tie-dye feature with this colorful it looks like somebody just took a handful of quilts and just cut them up and decided to stitch them onto this shirt and then it even goes onto the back which is amazing so this is the top and then these are the bottoms i noticed that the bottoms the colorway on here is more earthy tones whereas the top is like bright pinks purples etc um so here are the shorts so cool this is so i wonder what era this is from like it, i know it's either the 70s or the 80s but it's just so dope how they just oh and then this is the second item that i got it actually has shoulder pads like you want to know how to know something is vintage it's got shoulder pad i'm playing i don't i don't know if that's true but um it's this cool I don't even know, I guess 80s print. I guess that's what we're going to call it. 80s print button down. It is, is this the one? It's 100% silk. It's got these puffy, like, I got to show you guys a picture of me with it on. But I swear, these sleeves are a little puffy and then the cuffs bring it all in. So that estate sale was really dope. There was so much stuff in that woman's house that I just like, I bet you there was some more finds, but I literally could not look at it all. <laughs> right now I'm actually about to go thrifting with Jonathan, so I am getting ready um, for that. I wish I had a wig. I feel like with my hair in these cornrows, I need a damn wig, but anyway, let's let's go thrifting. <laughs> we out chill. We out chill finna take some pictures. Y'all, look at this new phone case. Tell me you don't like this phone case. 
Tell me. She was so excited about it. I was, bro, I've been waiting for this phone case for almost two weeks now, and like it finally came. If you want it, I'll leave the link in the description, but this phone case go hard. Let's take some pictures. So y'all, we decided to try somewhere new today and it looks so dope. I got my little Prada reusable bag. They might give Seriously, your girl like a, a few percentage off. Y'all, tell me why Jonathan was gonna buy this one book <laughs> for $10 and she said the whole entire set. But yeah, that's hard. That's dope. That is hard. It's crazy. Y'all, the craziest thing just happened. I made my biggest sale ever. Like ever since i've been on depop i got a notification last night saying that somebody bought seven items from me i was really freaking out i was like yo like this is crazy so i'm gonna show you guys what she got um so yeah she ordered this georgia bulldogs long sleeve this true religion this great true religion jacket um i think this is the hard rock cafe baby tea she ordered those white Adidas shorts that I had. There, This is a long sleeve off the shoulder top. Oh, do you guys like my pillowcase? It's, it's dope. Um, and this is a uh, just a baby blue, like, kids um, spaghetti strap tank top. And then she got this purse. I just want to share that with you guys. Hopefully it motivates somebody out there. If not, I don't know, some people are haters, but I'm excited. So I'm about to package this up right now. Um, I'm not sure exactly how. Probably gonna get my mom's opinion because I don't wanna have it be two separate ship, like, you know, packages. Um, and I wanna wrap that purse up to make sure that it is secure on its journey to her. But that was exciting. So it's the night of August 3rd, and that means tomorrow at 9 a.m. begins the sale time promotion that I am a part of. I just got an email from another Depop employee explaining how they want my shop to look, and um, I got to meet these uh, requirements so that my shop can be put on the front page. So when you go to Depop on your desktop, you can like rearrange the items. See like I'm gonna click move sold items down so that everything that I've sold is at the very bottom. Well, if it loads. <laughs> Basically the way they want my shop to be organized is showing all my best sale items at the top. And they said to, if you got shop policies and stuff like that, move it down. So because on the app there are three rows of clothes that you see, I'm going to make the first six pictures the best listings I have on my shop. So I'm going to probably do something really streetwear themed. Basically, I'm just going to make it curated to show I like streetwear. A vast majority of my shop is about to be on sale. Like a lot of these graphic tees, probably literally I'm probably going to put like damn near everything. So for my sale time promotion, I told them that I'm going to do 20% off my items and they said that you gotta have at least 15 items on sale at all times so right now i got 68 items literally that are already on sale so i'm just gonna go through and click a gang of different stuff do y'all hear my laptop like have i been on it for that long jeez okay so i think i finally finished rearranging my shop and i wanted to show y'all real quick so we got graphic tees at the forefront then we got button downs then um these new pieces that i just picked up then we got like spaghetti straps baby tees um denim skirts uh either rompers or dresses I don't know why I kept these pants there. They're not even, I just think that they should be somewhat in the front. Um, then we've got hats, spaghetti strap, tank top type tops, <laughs> and then purses, jeans, some other stuff that I didn't really know where to put. I just left them at the very bottom of my thing. So yeah, that's, that's it. Everything else is sold. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is document 
the first day um because you know just so you guys can kind of like get a get a get a whiff <laughs> get a clue of what it is like to be on the um sale time tab and the kind of traction that comes from it like you guys I don't know if I've actually answered it, but when I was featured as a suggested seller on the front, I think I'm still up there. Like I said, I, I don't know. I, I don't. I haven't checked. But when I was featured, you guys, like I, I had over ten thousand notifications within like four days, and I gained like you. You see my subscriber count. Like tomorrow, I'm. I can guarantee you, I'm gonna hit over five k tomorrow so and i just i just seen that i have finally sold over 100 items so i'm big excited but y'all like that that suggested seller tab that's your goal that's where you want to get with depop because that boosted the hell out of my sales like oh i took them all up front but today and just in general just over the course of 24 hours like I got that huge order I showed you guys this morning. Then I got like six other orders. And it was just it's just it's just mad dope. So I'm very excited for tomorrow. Um and I'll see you guys then to keep you updated on how things go. So it has been two days. It's currently the night of Wednesday, August 5th, and I have feedback for you guys on how the sale top promotion is going. So at the moment I have over a thousand notifications um i made let me see how many orders i made so far i've only made five orders but i've gotten a lot of engagement um it it wasn't it has well it hasn't been as much as what it was when i was featured as a streetwear seller um or under the suggested seller tab but it's still been a good amount and it's still generated attraction to my page i've had a lot of inquiries about different items on my shop um, so I know people are like, especially with my Harley Davidson stuff, I know people are like very, um, close to purchasing, um, other items as well. So far it's been going good though. Like it hasn't been nothing like crazy where I'm like, oh my God, I got to pick up my camera and explain it to you guys right now. But it's still a super dope promotion to be a part of. And I very much appreciate Depop for including me in this because I know that it's like, like it's still gonna go up of course you know what i'm saying like sometimes that's the thing that's another thing that i wanted to point out is that not everything is always as instant as it may seem so like for an example a better example is a part of this video like i wanted to get more inventory and i wanted to show me i wanted to show me to you guys getting more inventory from my shop whether it had been at the estate sale or at the thrift store that i went to and honestly i didn't find anything at the thrift store and i didn't find much at the estate sale but it's all okay because it's like that's what thrifting is you know that's what being a reseller is you guys i just made a huge purchase like oh my god i'm freaking out because i just made a huge purchase i just bought my imac and i just got another email notification for it and i am freaking out i've wanted an imac for so long but anyway all right i'm getting off topic so that is that for this video i wanted to give a shout out to two accounts so um sarah from depop is this shop right here and she is the one who um, was the employee that I had been talking to for my Depop Q&A at the time when I was filming it I didn't know if she wanted me to put her information out there, but I got the okay to do so from her So, um, thank you very much to her because she was mad helpful. I was like This is amazing how helpful these people are. So, um, yeah, she's lit go follow her and then this account over here is it was so funny as i was going through sale time i was like hmm, i might want to find some stuff on here to buy i know you guys have probably seen those nature shirts where it's like a giant bear or a giant deer and it's like this acid wash um tie-dye i don't know i'll put pictures up if you don't understand what i'm saying but i literally searched for the type of shirt that i wanted and the girl whose account who had the listing up she didn't have measurements so i was like hey do you have measurements and she was like oh my god i freaking love your youtube channel so it was lit um yeah go follow her buy all her stuff uh you know do whatever we love to support the community around here but other than that i think this this is about it for this video um i've got a gang of new content coming it just it's coming soon so be on the lookout for that but other than that thank you so much for watching comment like subscribe same as always and you guys will see me in the next video